So, ladies and gentlemen, first things first, I'm going to top it off. Um, Happy New Year. Uh, it was uh, made some crazy resolutions, but it's none of your business. Anyway, so here I am showing books again. Mathematics for 3D game programming and computer graphics. Yes, I have started reading this book because this is a readable book. This is my book for linear algebra. Now, it is a very awesome book because it really goes in depth to the artsy fartsy while simultaneously being, you know, the mathematics of creating that artsy fartsy stuff in graphics. So, this is actually programming graphics. And, you know, I had no idea vectors and matrices and all this crap actually went into the physics I could see in the game alone, but I had no idea that it also applied to the meshes and graphics inside. So I can see where calculus is actually connecting in with this linear algebra and that we're applying. Linear algebra with Richard Behean is also a programming class as well as a math class. So we do get programming assignments and we are doing a programming project. Uh, with 3D graphics inside of linear algebra. Also, programming too with Justin Tackett. He's pretty, pretty cool guy too. He's actually, uh, I actually was expecting a little something a little bit different, but he's actually, uh, you know, teachers get crazier and crazier here in the game dev as you go along. I promise you. Uh, but he's awesome. Uh, his style of teaching, as well as Behin's, is different from Shane's and Doug's. Uh, Justin, uh, for one thing, doesn't actually prefer you to type along with him in a programming lecture. He prefers that he just shows you everything and then you get the line of code later from the vFiler, which I do not have access to at this point, and I gotta fix that. But, uh, that's the idea. And, uh, yeah. Also, that's it, pretty much. Uh, we have quizzes that are a little bit different. Right now I'm in the early stages, but I can tell you that both of these classes do cover these things. Uh, uh, right now, linear algebra, we're going to go over, wow, I actually do not know much about these courses, to tell you the truth. Uh, but I can tell you that the teachers are great so far, and that uh, that th this is what we're doing, this is what we're going over. So, uh, that's it for Full Sail. Also, on a side note, I finally got a book about Lisp. Yes, Lisp derived languages. As I mentioned before, I want to work for Naughty Dog, and that's what they tend to use. Uh, they had used a thing called Ghoul, uh, game or object oriented Lisp, and then Goal for Jack 2, and you know all the other games. And now they're using a language called DC, which also happens to be Lisp derived. And so I'm working on Lisp, crazy language that focuses more on common Lisp, but it's cool because it has comic books and everything. I, f I actually found it hard to believe that it was even a. Uh, it does teach programming and it also teaches programming games. See, one game at a time. I went and bought that myself. Full sales and give you that. Uh, this is a side project I'm doing on my own. But actually, you don't get a book for programming too. The C primer book stays and applies to that. And this is it for uh, linear algebra. So there we go. Those are the two classes. Uh, IGDA, student chapter with Rob Coble that I've been doing. Uh, last turnout was very successful, although I don't see say that the guest speaker was as interesting as the last uh, but this time around it looks like we're gonna have a good turnout again because I can tell on Twitter and stuff and uh, I th we're gonna definitely have um, a better guest speaker from Electronic Arts so and that is for yeah Rob's a cool guy yeah hopefully I can actually you know maybe get you guys to meet him via video speaking of which interview video you guys are getting impatient with me I know this uh, I will get that to you <laughs> I will, I promise. Uh, this is tricky because, you know, a lot of people get busy and they have their schedules to attend to as well. So that's the hard part. But uh, I'll tell you this. Have some fun. Uh, giving me ideas because I'm, I don't, uh, like I said, my inspiration is Miguel J. Torres. I don't think I'm quite as interesting as him. For one thing, I can't use Final Cut. Uh, I'm not a film student. Uh, I can use Move, Windows Movie Maker, but and then I get made fun of. So, uh, I think, you know, the best I could do, I don't know if it's my charisma or anything, because my views have been steadily declining. So until I get more views, I don't feel the pressure to actually build upon and get an interview video to you guys. And it's funny, because I, I don't know if I can spell out, I don't know if it has anything with YouTube's recent changes or not, but, uh, I mean, I don't know if I can spell it out for you anymore. I have the video links, and I have everything set on my channel, and I just don't know what's going on. But... Uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. I hope to see you soon. Uh, I'm, this is just a real quickie and then let you know what's going on. All right, bye.